This is Gene Key, KDD News. The Delhart police have captured a wanted fugitive. A fugitive is now back behind bars. The Delhart Police Department says 19-year-old Braden Kearley is currently in custody. He was captured late Friday in Delhart. Kearley was wanted on two burglary charges and had a warrant out for flight escape. A triple accident sends three people to hospitals in Amarillo. From MyHighPlains.com, the wreck tied up traffic for about an hour on I-27 Friday afternoon. Two cars and a semi were involved. Both cars flipped. A woman in one of those vehicles was airlifted to the hospital in critical condition. Two people in the other car are also hospitalized in critical condition. The driver of the semi was not hurt. According to the Amarillo Globe News, Texas Baptists are converging on Amarillo for a three-day annual conference where discussions will include approving a budget that would reduce funding for Baylor University. The conference of the Baptist General Convention of Texas begins Monday at the Amarillo Civic Center. The Amarillo Globe News reports that the convention plans to vote on a 2012 budget that would reduce funding for Baylor from about $2.8 million to $1.9 million. The convention will also elect a new president President. The Reverend Jerry Carlissel, pastor of the First Baptist Church in Plano, has been nominated for president. The Reverend Jeff Johnson of First Baptist in Decatur is nominated as first vice president. And the Reverend Brian Stevenson, pastor of the Fort Bend Church in Sugarland, has been nominated for second vice president. From Skellytown, located near Pampa, an advisory last Friday for anyone who lives in Skellytown. You are under a boil water notice. The city is asking you to boil water until at least Tuesday afternoon. This comes after a water main break in Skellytown Thursday. This is Gene Key, KDD News.